Transparency, the longest running talk show on cable television, continues to be of service for the information needs of the Negrensi. Transparency, a no holds barred discussion of current and relevant events that are imbued with public interests. Transparency features interview with newsmakers, health, sports, tourism, education, among others. Transparency, a crusade against corruption, injustices, illegal drugs, and criminalities. Get involved and be a part of the solution to the unending problems of our society. And now, your host. Good day, everyone. This is your television program, Transparency. I'm your host, Mike Magari. Today's discussion, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, about current and controversial issues here in the city of Bacolod, province of Negros Occidental, and the entire country. Ang atong dinapit nga mga bisita, mga kabyanan, hindi man ini bago sa transparency kay masunsun amun ni sila ang aton nga resource person sa mga controversial issues nga sa diin uh, makahatagin sa nagakaigo nga mga informasyon kag uh, maka-enlighten sa aton nga mga viewers. Ang una nga aton nga pakilala mga kabyanan, of course, um, he is an elected city councilor in the city of Bacolod and of course uh, the illustrious son sang anay uh, uh, SRA administrator the late uh, Wilson Gamboa no attorney Wilson Gamboa makabyanan without much ado i am honored to have with us honorable councilor Wilson June Gamboa uh, councilor welcome sir mike may uh, a good day can to Attorney Tokayo ko Jun, uh, a pleasant day to okay. the both of you, kag sa aton ng mga televiewers. Okay. Ang aton ikadwa nga bisita, mga kabyanan, ini siya ginakabig nga a respected and well-admired lawyer in the city of Bacolod and province of Negros Occidental. Kung lawyering ang pag-ambalan, mga kabyanan, he has already curbed a good name in the lawyering profession. And uh, as far as leadership is concerned, in siya mga kabyanan, kilala gid ang brand of service nga iya nahatag sa Integrated Bar of the Philippines having been uh, uh, the past president of IBP Negros Occidental Chapter. I am honored to have with us Attorney Leopoldo Chuko Jr. Uh, John, welcome. Uh, my, uh, welcome. Uh, thank you, Sir Mike. I'm going to pause for you. I'm going to pause for Councilor, may am going So it's nice to see you once again. Salamat for inviting us. Okay. <coughs> Ang atun una, gid mga kabyan nga pag-ambalan, in the eye of the storm, sa controversy sa karon, amo ang atun ginilihir nga city councilor, uh, Wilson June Gamboa. Ang uh, Controversy, mga kabyanan, may kang tanan sa sining pagpasar sa sangguni ang panglungsod sa Revised Electronic Cigarette Ordinance. Kung ninyo madumduman, mga kabyanan, si Kunsyal June Gamboa, amugit ini ang main author sa ining ordinansa way back 2014. Ini siya nagtingwa, git, no? Uh, he tried his best sa pag uh, hiwat sa mga public hearing kag of course uh, because mayo ang intent sa mga mga ordinansa mga kabyanan officially nangin ordinansa ini sa 2014 now sa karong atuig 2017 gindiho naman ang uh, ordinansa nga ining electronic ordinance nga ang uh, original author sini amo si June Gamboa kag ang nag-revise ordinance sini nga ginaprubahan kay majority sa konseho ang grupo abin and I attorney Cesar Distrito so amo ni mga kabyanan nagdaog ang revised ordinance no 
kay ang ato ni pamangkot abi sa kay June Gamboa nga nga isa lang git ini siya ang nag-opener sa sining revised ordinance kay nagpangayo pa ini siya sa legal opinion or opinion sa DILG uh, pati bala sa uh, pag-amend o kung gin revise ini nga ordinance nga iya gin uh, kuan abi gin uh, pangabudlayan uh, June well uh Uh, Sir Mike, uh, Attorney uh, June, uh, ang pamangkot o na uh, kung nga ako lang isa ang nag-opener. Mm. Uh, yes, precisely nga during the privilege speech, I, I made an appeal. Mm -hmm. I encouraged uh, members of the council mm -hmm. uh, to review and then to distinguish first the Uh, the the word uh, amendment and revision simply because if we will allow this now without uh, determining the correct legal definition of amendment and revision mm. we are in a way condoning any counselors mm -hmm. commissioning any counselors to just simply amend Uh, or just simply revise mm -hmm. an ordinance uh, wherein the proper uh, form should be an amendment only mm -hmm. and taking credit for the works of previous councillors or the previous council. Mm -hmm. sa ilang, uh, we are not only rendering here injustice or uh, disrespect or uh, discourtesy. Mm -hmm. to the originator or to the author himself or herself but to the council who approved this before mm -hmm. and to the stakeholders and to the participants who belabored in crafting this ordinance. Mm -hmm. I see. Kay kadako nga bagay, Sir Mike, uh, kung a mandatory ordinance lang because you are not totally deleting mm -hmm. No, or repealing or recognizing even the author and the original ordinance itself. Mm -hmm. Or even the council who approve it. Mm -hmm. Kung revision niya, wala do gindula mo sa records o kung gindula mo sa eksena mm -hmm. ang ining ordinance siya. In fact, the, propose, uh, the approved revised ordinance now has a provision that the previous ordinance is hereby repealed. So that is why uh, kung tani dapat klarohon online na ton mm -hmm. the proper use and application of the word revision uh -huh. and the proper use and application of an amendment. Amo mala nang akon. Ang ang matabo si ni uh, Konsihal Gamboa nga sa uli eh, kung maiban nga mga konsihal da ya i-revise ang mga ordinansa nga ginimo sa previous councillors, it would be unfair, abi, no? Kag it will become a precedent sa halos tanan nga mga konseho, abi, no? Kahit eh, ang iban nga mga uh, siyudad daw nagkapi manggani sa sining um, e cigarette ordinance nga imo gin uh, himo originally, oh. no? Yes. So, amun eh, ang mangin efekto sa uli, nga ang ginatinguan sa iba nato ng mga konsihal daw madula abi hmm. ang ila ideya ang ila ginimo ang mga nagpartisipar sa pagcraft sining uh, ordinansa so ang paghatag credit bla sa mga counselors nga nagbulig man abi naginterpolate kag kunano man ang ila participation kag sa mga public hearings nga inyo gin himo no yes sir now um, sa privilege speech ni Konsyal Distrito, iya gin pahayag nga kadamo sa ibo nga gin panghambal nga unparliamentary kuno no nga daw gin pa-arresto abi kay ti ang imo gin panghambal daw hindi kuno parliamentary abi no sa pamatyag ya anong reaksyon mo sini sa iya nga privilege speech okay it was actually an offshoot or a reaction When he retorted back, mm -hmm. uh, when I was actually trying to explain to Councilor Distrito 
the right legal definition based on the books ha, mm -hmm. uh, of what is an amendment and what is a revision. When mm -hmm. he returned it back to me unceremoniously, and uh, in fact, it was a very unfortunate uh, remark on his part, nga when he said that uh, I understand Councillor Gamboa, but he is not a lawyer. Ah. That was the only time when I, I uh, retorted and called him a bigot and intolerant. Mm -hmm. Okay, in the, uh, in the records, attorney, uh, honestly, I told him uh, uh, he is a bigot and it, an intolerant uh, counselor. Simply because, but then again, he had it strike out, the bigotry. Mm -hmm. The bigotry word. terminology or word, but oh. uh, did not strike out the intolerance. Mm -hmm. But I agree. I agree. It was, you know, in offshoot of my uh, of also the remarks made by the Councilor Distrito. Mm -hmm. But uh, I said, okay, so intolerant. But mm -hmm. what is intolerant? Mm -hmm. Unwilling to accept or tolerate the opinion of others other than his own. Mm -hmm. So, in fact, at the during the course, I explained the difference based on the books. Because the definition uh, attorney is this. According to the, the original definition, I adapted the Father Bernas nga legal definition of amendment during his um, privileged speech. But the original niya, nga di definition of amendment is this. One or two changes in the law uh -huh. is an amendment. Uh -huh. But numerous, numerous, More than two, or uh, substantial mm -hmm. sections added or changed is already an amendment. Uh -huh. uh, is already a revision. A revision. Uh -huh. So I beg, I, I disagreed. Mm -hmm. Kaya ko siya, no, that is not the correct right legal definition based on the books. Because no less than our constitution, actually made a distinction of what is an amendment and what is a revision. Mm -hmm. Now, get explain ko siya. Based on the books, ha? based during the course of the deliberations of our of the framers of the 1987 Constitution, ang amendment ya, according to the books, based on the spirit and intent of the of the framers of the, our 1987 Constitution, mm -hmm. ang amendment according to them is to add or make changes in the law. Mm -hmm. And ang revision is to add and make changes that totally changes the whole concept of the law itself. Mm -hmm. In other words, there is a quan there is a a complete uh, changes in the in the law. Oh. Nagliin balaya ang iyang uh, purpose, ang intent, ang substance, oh. and form basically. But hmm. kung aton tulokon ang iyang ordinansya, despite the numerous, no, ang, out of the 17 original provisions, nagdugang siya siyam. Uh -huh. But again, it did not change the purpose, hmm. the spirit, hmm. the idea, the thought, the, the intent. Mm -hmm. The substance, the form. Balik dugangan lang. Din dugangan okay, lang, kagin okay. liwat lang ang jutai. Mm -hmm. But it did not basically uh, change the whole context of the law itself. Mm -hmm. the, the overall implications of the law. Uh -huh. Now, uh, pamati ang tabi <laughs> si Attorney Paul Choco, the past president of IBP, kung ano ang iyamambal abe partisaning amendment or revision kon anong iabe idea pati sini kay te uh, si John Gamboa nagsiling sa tourney distrito nga te ikaw yan di man abogado te pamati an tabing abogado ang uh, pagdistinguish ang amendment kag revision kay man kon revision na ya uh, why na daya ang original author mo bali ikaw nagidya ang daw nag initiate Nagida originator kana yes. gindula mo na to ya ang uh, nagligad nagligad nga yeah, ordinansya o oh, ordinansya uh, ano maduga mo sini attorney well ako niya personally no i think they should have uh, check if they have that in the archives of the council if the previous council had the definition already mm -hmm. of what 
an amendment and what is a revision of an ordinance. Okay, kung may ara, that would help them guide. Now, if there is none, they should probably define it. Para mabalaan, it's just like sa Congress, they set their own rules. But it should not go beyond what is so provided under the Constitution. Well, ang basic understanding ko yung what an amendment is, kung muna eh, kung may islan ka, a particular section, or article or rule of a particular ordinance or law. So kung magdamo na, probably that would result to a revision. Pero ang problem, ano gid kadamo ang gin islan? So tani ko na istoryahan sa Mayo, probably wa man na guru mag jutay nga konflikto. Galing kiti it was ruled upon by the majority. Oo, ti mo lang isa mo nang problema. So they should have made a guideline so that the future council sa Pilakadlaw, they should be guided accordingly also. No? Ma-define na nila. Hindi kung ding dason naman ng mga konsihalis na mga kabataan, Pilakadlaw, mag-konsihal naman. Kung di hindi na mag-amo, kaya they can check the archives ng mga daan ng records. Kaya mo malana mo, kisa nga mo kayo sa court. Kisa ka check mga kami old cases, mga mga two cases. That's what the Supreme Court does. Mag-resolve issues. Hindi karo kayo... May problema, how 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 do you define that? Tikon why ka mo kaset parameters dra ang council? How do they, they, they uh, anong pag-consider ng revision? Kaya kung may ara ito nga uh, citation, man, nambal ni, ano, ni councilor uh, Gamboa nga ginusar ni atter, attorney uh, distrito. Uh, distrito ng uh, two or more is already equivalent to a revision. More than more than three, abi, you know, revision, na na. Pero without also due regard, that ni yan naman ni ang original author should also be given due credit. Kasi yas ang konisipon mo ang nagguide man sa imo ng revision is the old ordinance, no? The giving credit to somebody authorized author date, hindi man ako nothing wrong with that, maguro. Magale. Uh, so kinanglan na uh, kunta ni Jyotay nga respeto no pero sa bahin abi ni uh, Council Distrito sa iya privilege speech nga ato na binakita nga kuno nag press con ka uh, nag repeat ka sa mga libelous statements against him abi no uh, <clears throat> tell us more about it uh, sa imo nga mga press statements uh, during the first time nga we discussed the the issue Uh, the floor, the, the, the vice mayor or the chairman uh, allowed us only one question mm -hmm. uh, because we are already at the end part of the session. So it will t we are already pressed for time. Mm -hmm. So he allowed us to entertain uh, <laughs> sa, sa body itself only one question. Now, it was the only time that we had a discussion or a debate on the matter. And so therefore, since isa lang ka-questions ang gin-allow nila, and I raised the first question on the exact definition of the amendment or the revision, amo mo lang ng legal issue nga gin-raise ko. I did not raise about the issue on the caparet law. I did not raise or invoke the issue on intellectual property right. No. Ang ako niya, the right use and application of the word amendment or revision. That's why uh, it's a non-issue. Ang gina-raise ng mga legal issue ni the Council of Distrito is not a, is a non-issue. Anyway, so I appealed and I requested the Council if we can have it deferred mm -hmm. uh, in some other week, not this coming Wednesday, because I am on official leave. Oh, I see. So I manifested my, uh, my request oh. on the floor. On the floor. On the oh. floor. So, aware, everybody, Council of Distrito being the majority floor. Record? Yes. It was in the, on the record? On the record. Nga nag request ka yes, I manifested defer deferred it because I will be on official leave. Mm -hmm. So, when you say deferment, in other words, postpone a night for next week because I am not, I am not, I will not be around. So, what, there was no official request, huh? letter given. Ang iyayate, gusto ya good siguro, nga, I have to make a right in writing. Mm -hmm. But it was personally manifested on the floor mm -hmm. to defer discussion for next week because I will be on official leave. So, ipa-defer mo, 
Yes. Pero galay, kahit eh, para lang nga absent ka, ipadefer <laughs> ang uh, importante nga ordinansa. No, but then again, we are still in the second reading. reading. So yeah. in other words, it is up for discussion. Di kayo gin-interpolate ka man to nga ang... Uh, uh, no. The, that happened uh, last April 29. Oh. Ini ya last yesterday lah ni ya. Oh, ang interpellation, ang privilege speech namu nya yang happened only last one, last, uh, last yesterday. Now, so therefore, being the majority floor leader, mm-hmm. gin insert ya gih apun, despite my request, despite my request. So, I have no other recourse but to go to the media because <laughs> when you move it already on second reading, mm-hmm. in other words. Ang sunod nga tikang sina, basahon mo na lang yung titulo, third and final reading. So in other words, no opportunity for me to debate or to argue the ordinance mm-hmm. at the floor. Oh, I see. Okay? So wala na tayo ligwa. So that is it. Pero daw ka law ay nga, ano, daw ka cry baby si Imohaw. Uh, imbes abing uh, <laughs> masaylo ka sa sinindamo ng mga importante ng mga ordinansa nagsaga kay mo yasang uh, uh, waldate parte sa electronic uh, cigarette ordinance no uh, nang pamangkot de does this concern the para sa kaiwan sa uh, the general good oh. and for the general public oh. yes I do mm-hmm. I feel why because hindi ba lang uh, ang mandate sang isa ka public official Uh, ang iyang oath is to as a, as a government official a counselor for that matter public office is a public trust he <laughs> must at all, at all times conduct himself with utmost integrity honesty, decency uh-huh. because the issue here is about honesty the issue here about integrity mm. uh, that is why when I said Before the press, na si Lingko, mm. uh, the action of Councilor Distrito is an act of dishonesty, sti- cheating, and stealing. Stealing. Stealing of mm. other people's ideas and achievements, mm-hmm. taking and grabbing credit out of people's other people's hard work. Uh-huh. So, yes. Can he, basically, because of this revision, he is actually now taking the, the, the credit, the credit oh, of, nice. ka, from the, the originator or from the author himself. <laughs> who actually <coughs> oh. d- drafted the ordinance. Oh, so, na. and the, pro kong pamangkot, uh, there is, is there anything like below there? No, none. Because I did not impute any crime. Mm, Wala yes. bala ko yan, nagsiling, uh, distrito committed a certain crime. Oh. Uh, it, uh, because, uh, because copying, as again, ginakot man ko nila, I never said that copying uh, ideas is illegal. Mm. I never said that. Hmm. Wala ako isang gambal. But then again, ang ginambal ta diya and grading credit and make it appear as your own. Nan. Oh. Uh, siguro kung uh, ba na konsyal, if uh, other counselors are on your shoes, possibly ti amugin man ang imoon kay imo na iya gain pangabudlayan man. Pagkatapos, gain pasar man sa mga konsyal sa itong una, kag mga public hearing nag-imbitar ka mo sa mga resource persons yes. ti ang imo bla nga time nga gin hatag dra ang imong uh, uh, siling naton mga ideas nga imo da ginimo gin grab lang because majority abi hmm. ang nag uh, na ginimo nila revision no? yes. kag going back sa imo nga issue about calling me a cry baby oh, oh. nga ti you know sa iya nga mga interview uh, this are according to him very trivial hmm. Uh, kag kuno binata bata oh. but then again I, I, let me ask the kwan the televiewers if kun ikaw abi may istra ka and you caught a student cheating oh then what will you do mm-hmm. will you be quiet or you will get, catch the attention of that student what worse is that ako ya ha ang pagtan-aw ko siniya not only i said did i said did i say that Uh, distrito cheated in fact ang ginobra niya not he is like a child nga nagcheating kag hindi pa gitcha kontento nga kopyao niya kay because several provisions were copied in toto ha in verbatim uh-huh. 
verbatim, word by word. Mm -hmm. uh, he, cannot, he, he, he will not deny that. In fact, uh, gina-invoke niya, uh, gina niya nga wala, there is no wrong in copying. Yes, why well, mm -hmm. he did not say nga he, there is something illegal in copying. Uh -huh. But si Linko, not only was he satisfied of, of, <laughs> of writing down the provisions or the answers of his classmate, but he took the test paper of his classmate Erased the name of the name of the classmate and then wrote his name there in the test paper. Amuna, <laughs> yeah, that is why Silinko. You know, I, let me ask you, Sir Mike. Now, what will be the initial reaction of a child? Kung madakpan sang maistrang nga nagapang upya. Mm. Take on the punish, eh? No, no. But then, what will be the initial reaction of the of the the child? Kung mag kung madakpan siya, yes. Kung huyak siya, eh? Oh, oh, pro. Hindi blang uh, he will deny. Ah, he, he, because nga, that is a childlike reaction, uh -huh. a common uh, self-preservation of the child. Uh -huh. no, why ko yung cheating? Why ko na, in the blood? That is the common reaction. Uh -huh. Pero June, ang major abing nga mga changes dres sa imo e-cigarette nga mm -hmm. ordinance nga ang uh, madakpan sini um, sa mga public places ginabawal ini mm -hmm. no? ang paggamit sang uh, electronic cigarettes no isa ina sang changes uh, organ islan be this uh, 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 ano pagit ang mga changes da he had a total of more or less around nine provisions added uh -huh. from the original 17 uh -huh. provisions uh -huh. but the point is uh, sir mike uh, did it change the purpose and the intent uh -huh. or the idea or the thought of the ordinance itself no he did not Okay, okay. In fact, ang ginahambal niya, ang strengthen niya pa. Mm -hmm. This basically, inyong panglawag niya item per item. Ngayon, you know, naging bigyan pa sulod siya about the trust funds. He, insert, he increased the composition of the task force. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 Ginsight niya mga prohibited areas like the public places, public oh. uh, conveyances, etc. These are actually our amendments. Gin strengthen niya lang. Gin mm. strengthen niya lang. So, he cannot say nga he completely changed the entire law itself. Kay, kung, asa, correct me, attorney, if I'm wrong, ha, kung ginambal niya, being nga, gin totally ban niya, mm -hmm. ang the use of e-cigarette, that is a revision. Mm -hmm. Pero kung nag-site ka lang niya, regulate ng kwan, certain areas, ginaregulate mo siya. So, so, the title, amendment, na, amendment lang, because it is also a form of regulations, regulatory. Uh -huh. Nagdugang kabla sa mga prohibitions. In other words, you are simply regulating it. <laughs> But uh, the title of the original context, basically, the purpose is to regulate the use and sale of e-cigarette uh -huh. for us to protect our minors and the general public of the ill effects of e-cigarette. Amuna iya ang tuyo, yaman mo. Uh -huh. He cannot deny that because, in fact, he said... And the original context of this ordinance, strengthening the regulation. Uh -huh. So, I'm mandatory ka lang because not only did you copy the title, but also likewise, <laughs> you copied the whole substance and the context of the law itself. Uh -huh. So, mga kabyanan, very clear. <laughs> Ang atong inang balandre, parte sa controversial issue, attorney Wilson, uh, or rather June Gamboa, no, as against attorney Cesar Distrito, no? Sa sining e-cigarette uh, ordinance controversy. They depend sa aton nga mga pumuluyo magbinag-binag, no? Ang tinutuyo sini nga para gid sa kayuan sa aton nga mga pumuluyo diri sa siyudad sa Makulod nga sa diin makahatag proteksyon sa ikayong lawas sa aton nga mga pumuluyo. Pero galing sa paghimo o pagdihon sining ordinansa Nagawin ko piya lang ko, no? So, no, sa kay June Gamboa, te, nagbutuha ito, te, majority rules, te, why padaog ya ang uh, original uh, authors ni, no? Although nga may mga revisions, te, amunin ginimo, nabutuhan, nga, it was a revised ordinance. So, why ka na da labot, <laughs> June? <laughs> sa ordinance, ha? Wala na. Ha? Pa, Atong, na <laughs> Atong inyo itong again uh, public hearing, wala na to mga Ay. tao, itong nga involved, wala na to yes, yes. ang mga konsihal 
nga nag-upon man sa itong uh, mag-approval sa ordinansa. Why na ito sila labot? Oh, eh, basta um, we were all stricken out of the records of the sangga niyang panglungsa. Oh, bali, iya na gini niya. Iya na gini niya. Oh. ni But you know what? I will wait for the response of the DILG. Oh, oh. Uh, the Kwan, because I requested DILG to, for a legal opinion and clarification on the issue about the definition. Hmm. And uh, cross the bridge when I get there. Okay. Mga kabiyanahan, uh, sa doon ka interesting sa atong inambulan, controversial issue, dari sa atong sa siyudad sa Makulod. Sa ilo kita abi sa atong IBP President, uh, sa itong una, the former IBP President, uh, magkutunti siya kung what has he done for the IBP abi, no? Ini, this is not a controversial issue, but I uh, would like to know abi, sa mga nahimuan ni uh, Attorney Paul Shoko uh, having been uh, the past president of IBP, ano ang mga major um, accomplishments or you have uh, done for the IBP sa imong uh, presidency sa Tunguna? Well, uh, the records of the IBP would show uh, when I assumed uh, office sometime in uh, 2015, ang pundo sa IBP medyo kulang. Kulang. Okay. Of course, IBP derives its uh, income from membership dues. Mm -hmm. No, kada abogado gina require ina magamot, magbayad membership 1000 kada tuig. Mm -hmm. 60% of that goes to the national office. 40% goes to the local mm -hmm. chapter. Ting local chapter sila na yaka gasto sang ila expenses and what are those expenses? Uh, may duwadera ka staff regular na as well do, mm -hmm. allowances, SSS nila, field health and everything, ang local chapter inagagasto. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just lucky nga ang IBP is housed in the Hall of Justice. Ti sa kurinti do, dala na na da. Mm -hmm. Ang PLDT, ang internet, IBP na. Mm -hmm. So kung isipon mo, 40% lang and you have uh, 12 months to fund the operation of the IBP. Ti kung Dua katuig ang term mo, you need money to support the needs of the IBP for two years. So unfortunately, nag-project ang IBP prior to my stint sa elevator, which is a 4 million project. Why man nag-amot da ang Supreme Court, but there were contributions coming from Senator Chis Escudero, 2 million kay Congresswoman Chideng Alvarez, half a million, Tapos so, may mga personal donations, mga fundraising. So, 4 million. So, nagtabon kita ang local chapter man. Mm -hmm. Kaya may contract na gimpirmahan. Pag uh, kuha sa elevator, may contract na mo. So, bali... So, naubos ang pundo sa IBP pamayad sa elevator. So, pag implement sila ng uh, oh, pag, uh, elevator sa... Ako ginagbulos na yun. Oh, I see. So, pag sulod ko... <laughs> ara na. Ara na. Umana. Umana. Why na pundo? Jutay na lang. Uh -huh. Tinatabo, what I did was, why na ako nag... Ano gani? Why na ako nag... Uh, induction of officers? Uh -huh. Ginimo ko... Simple. Sim sim gindungan ko na lang sa Christmas party sa IBP. Uh -huh. I see. Uh -huh. Nagdungan ng induction, recognition of new judges, prosecutors, and new lawyers uh -huh. to cut down on costs. So, what I did was fiscal management. Belt tightening. Why tanan ano fundraising lang meng nagpabing amot amot sa lawyers. The soon ang number one source na mong subong is the conduct of the MCLE, which is the mandatory continuing legal education, which is already mandated by the Supreme Court. Na ang lawyers are supposed to undergo training every two years. So, kung hindi ka naka-attend, hindi ka ka-file pleading sa court. Ang recent sinod o sa Sugarland ginhiwan? Oo, Sugarland. Amo pa itong last kong project. So, under my term, I am the only president who was able to conduct three MCLEs in two years. Wow. Usually, it's only once. Ang pinakatako na walang ko twice. Tungkol sa amon ito na tabo, nagtatlogid ka MCLE. Oh, I see. So, despite that, nabayran sa under my term, nabayran ko nga utang nga kulang sa uh, IBP National, mga more or less 800,000. May bilin nga uh, less than 200,000. Pero ang last ng MCLE, 
definitely mabayaran na to. Di sa mga sports activities. Ano uh, we had activities? Uh, we joined the regional sports competition in Iloilo. Tinagasto man to ang IBP sa mga athletes, ang mga lawyers. Mm -hmm. We had free consult legal consultation sa North kag sa South kay magin invite man sa amon ng mga mayor. So nag-attend man kami dira. Naga naga bloodletting sa Lasal naka-attend man kami. Mm -hmm. And some other projects nga why may why ko na ano nagagi kami Christmas fund drive for naga donate kami sa sa SDC Social Center for the Minors nagpadala man kami to mm -hmm. mga and of course ang service sa mga lawyers naga revise kami bago nga do amon legal fees mm -hmm. na list dira mayara kami na ba may okay magsulod ka karon sa mga law firms mayara fees ang uh, <laughs> mga abogado oo to standardize na standardized. to regulate and pero pwede mo na mayo kumigo <laughs> ati kumigo mayo okay duay naman na uh, ano at least oh. may basis lang bala oo oh. and the biggest project that we did under uh, of course hindi man ko ka take credit nga ko lang we have also the board members ang renovation sa IBP office. About, nagtahom na na. Tahom, na, tahom na siya for the first time after 20 years ng uh, Arada. Na-revise kayo na obligar ko sa last time. Kaya due time, kadua ko masandad sa salog na mo. Tingin renovate, totally renovated. So if you could go there, pwede ka mo ka pangayo the legal advice kay damo man da kami mga lawyers na naghahatag. May gina-assign man kami ng free legal assistance. Mm -hmm. Na soon, ti gandol man kami isang during my term, nag-uyat ni Kuya pro bono ng mga cases nga under sa IBP. Pro bono, ah? Oh, may legal aid kami, nga lawyer, may pro nag-uyat ni Kuya. Mm -hmm. Kaya there were cases na gina-assign mismo sa judge sa akin, which until now, uh, despite the end of my term, ginahandol ko mang yapon. Mga, wow. Pretty same mga cases. Sige ko na lang, servisyo. Kaya ti part man na sa amon calling, nga we should not delay justice to... Those people now have no money. Tiya mo lang yun na eh. Although there are some others, pero amon ang do pinaka the major contribution sa ng amon nga term as officers. Balay sa karon ang bago naman ng presidente sa IBP si Attorney Arnel Lapore. Gina pangbulahan natin si Attorney Arnel Lapore. I have invited him abe party sa mga plans yah for the IBP. Pero sobra sa iya ka sako siguro. Uh, why siya di ka vote, no? Supposed to be loyal ko. Dua ka muta ni. Uh, incoming kag outgoing. Pero because of uh, mga important matters, uh, why siya ka vote, no? So, uh, uh, masailor magkitabi sa mga controversial issues, no? Uh, Dres sa aton sa probinsya sa Negros Occidental. Pero antis na, pilaan ay ka mga mensahe nagikan sa aton sponsors. We will be back shortly. We are inviting everyone to come and join the following upcoming events at Casino Filipino Bacolod El Fisher Hotel. Launching of slot machine summer play day promo on April 22. Win 600,000 pesos cash and 150,000 pesos slot machine loyalty credits as prizes for the raffle draw on July 29. Join the Real Deal Raffle Promo for Slot Machine and Bingo every Tuesday from 6, 7, and 8 p.m. 10 lucky winners and win as much as 50,000 pesos worth of Slot Machine loyalty credit. For table games every Thursday from 5, 7, and 9 p.m. 10 lucky winners and win as much as 50,000 pesos worth of free bet coupons. Join the weekly bingo every Tuesday, 7.30 p.m., Friday, 7.30 p.m., and Sunday, 2.30 p.m. For more information, contact the bingo department at 434-8901, local 316, or look for bingo stand. Thank you. Join our newest promo, Mag Bingo Para May Regalo Promo. It's open to all new and regular bingo patrons, 21 years old and above only. To join the promo for new clients, 
playing, he or she shall first be enrolled in the player tracking system and or slot machine patron management system to qualify for the program. Promo will run for the period March to August 2017. Welcome back to our program Transparency right here on Sky Cable Bacolod with your host Mike Magharik Agsaton dinapit ng mga bisita si Honorable Councilor Wilson June Gamboa kag ng aton past president sang IBP si Attorney Leopoldo Shuko Jr. Now uh, sa mga controversial issues mga kabyanan uh, damo sa nagakumod nga ang aton probinsya mabakal naman sang bag-o nga eroplano kuno ha six seater nga Cessna plane para kuno sa cloud seeding no kag ibang pagid nga mga importante kuno nga helikopter sang aton probinsya no mga 50 million pesos ne uh, sa imo uh, bilang abi di, bakulod negros uh, kumpormi ka sa sining uh, Uh, plano sa atong probinsya nga mabakal kita aeroplano o helicopter o ano ba? <laughs> uh, before I could even kung ano decide uh, uh, on the issue of procurement, no? new facilities, equipments, oh. Oh. Uh, properties for that matter. Uh, Ginatan ako na yao on prudent ini siya uh, ang pagbakal sa ini ng mga mga gamit. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, the city has two pressing issues now nga Uh, ginpasudlan nila budget uh, amoy ni sa pagbakal sa uh, sanitary landfill, landfill? kag sa pagbakal sa jetmatic na uh, machine or truck mm -hmm. sa pagsuyop bala sa mga basura sa aton nga drainage oh, okay okay so on the issue abi on we have the, the, the council has already decided kay tungod nga ginbutobotohan ni na siya oh, ang pagbakal sa jetmatic majority oh, major, rules. yeah no Uh, unfortunately, it, it, it failed to pass because a lot of councillors, even in the majority, oh. uh, feels uh, unconvinced nga ang pagbakal sa ining nagasuyop sa basura sa drainage ta is hmm. commensurate sa presyo. Uh -huh. Kahit from what we saw from the data nga ginhatag sa mundo, pilamalan to kabilog nga sako sa basura ang masuyop ya. Oh. Uh, can we have an old one mo? Oh, so they're going to buy another one worth 21 million pesos. So oh. hindi siya commensurate from the number of volumes of garbage nga ginasuyop sa idalom na itong uh, drainage. Ang, ang landfill property. Yeah. And the landfill property, yes, uh, definitely, uh, I will not uh, be in favor. Nga, simply because na, wala pa, why pa sila naka-identify. Pila na plano ng appropriation? Uh, 30 million. Ako ano? Uh, 30 million. 30 million. 30 million. Sa DNA ipahamtang na. Wala pa, but uh, ang akon da nga we need, before we can even buy a new sanitary landfill, dapat we have to finish and resolve first the old issue on the old sanitary landfill at Felisa. Oh, anong issue pa da so bo na bilhin sa Felisa? The uh, title. Mhm. Mm Overpricing. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, use. Uh -huh. Ete uh, di kwan mo un unutilized. Ah. Ibang galit na nga lugar da, sa Pilisa nga nabakas sa siyudad o ay pamagami? No, ang aton ba lang nga gin-infuse da? We, you know what, we infused initially of around 50 million pesos for the improvement of, uh -huh. the, of the sanitary landfill. Ang mga hmm. treating pond ba lang? Uh -huh. That treating pond is unutilized. Wala hmm. gin na nato na gamit. That's uh -huh. why... Uh, it's still a it's still a dump site kung makita. Uh -huh. Because we never, we failed to use that sanitary landfill nga ginulaan na itong initially of 50 million kag additional more uh, oh. uh, So ang procurement sa uh, bago ng mga landfill uh, medyo questionable kaya po? Uh, 
uh, butubutuhan man agi apo nila. <laughs> Pero te, before I can even jump no to the idea of buying another one, ang land use, ang ina, ang sanitary land fees, ang old, wala pa nato niya utilize git completely because the lifespan of oh. that sanitary landfill oh. in Felisa is until 2019. Oh, I so, see. wala pa, i-rehabilitate anay naton and then utilize it to Fully. its maximum. Oh. Antis mo bakal naman sa bago? naman ta magbakal sa bago. Oh. Oh, and may mga legal issues pa na daw, wala sa titulo, conditional sale. Ah, ti mga wala sa titulo? Oh, wala pa titulo. Ti base bla pre sa tuuna sa probinsya nga bakal sa nga property ginaralihan da kay wai pa sa titulo nga nabayra na. Oh, na ah. isa pa na. Si, oh. do, government in, do not enter in such kind of a contract. Amo ah, gani. Eh. Conditional sales and uh, by one by ang pagbayad bala tawags ni nang by tranches, no. We oh. don't do that. Government actually don't do that. Hmm. Pero ti, so, parte sa aeroplano, ano mambal mo, daw okay ka? Is, wala ko kabalo kung how essential or how important is the the airplane to the city group, uh, to the provincial government. Ay, ay, wala ko wala ko yung background siya na kung anong ka, okay. importante. Ang ginahambal sa ibang nga, ti, ginatravel ina, no? Oh. Uh, para kuno sa mga pasinti o kung ano, da, cloud seeding. Ti, oh. amo mang gyapo na ang magamit siya na Hindi lang ta magsilinga kung sino mabenepisyohan sina. Pero 50 million ang uh, ginaprobahan sa sanguni ang panalawigan. Uh, say mo lang, do we need really an airplane, ang provincial government? Say mo lang, abe, opinion. Well, take on cloud seeding lang. You really need that during summer season. Mm -hmm. And when there is lack of uh, tawag ni rainfall, mm -hmm. the negros being a agricultural province relying on sugar cane, mm. well, ang, ang aeroplano kung kinanglan kit and probably gaarkila lang kita. Now, ang, ang point da is how, how, how much money does the government have extra to fund the, ano, the project and the necessity. Eh. So, ito na nila da eh, kung fiscal management, which, which is lesser, uh, cost of buying or ma-rent lang kay because when you buy you need mm -hmm. to maintain it mm -hmm. ma hire ka na na pilot mm -hmm. hindi mo muna guru pwede nga manghulam ka lang na pilot kung <laughs> may kinanglan <laughs> oh. no so kung may biyahe ka wala you need a pilot nga kag ma-maintain sila unlike kung garent ka lang ya mm -hmm. kung may as the need arises you can lease kung why oh. ka naman kinanglan why naman why ka naman maintenance oh. ang problem lang galing if you don't have a plane and there is a necessity on the government to do cloud seeding, kag why available ng mga planes mm. ng mga cloud seed, that's the problem of the province siguro. So, to, kung mo sila na ni Gov dati, ito naan man na nila guro, and we have the provincial, ang uh, mga, ano tawag na, SP members, ito naan nila dahi, kung di nang mas maayo, and what's best for the province, di amun na ang ilabutuhan. Oh, although nga ti ara na na budgetana na probana uh, oh 50 million pesos. Uh, with now going back to the budget. No, the budgeting is not a problem. Mm. Actually we have we have approved actually the the budget for the purchase of a new sanitary landfill. Mm. It's not a question. Kay ti you know uh, and the real question here kung uh, ayhan damo pa na ang proseso mo uh, attorney so, may ara pa na ya back Mm -hmm. We'll decide, and then the authority to sign, uh, and then the, kwan, the giving ratification, and then the, the, the approval of the contract itself. So, uh, although the city have already approved a budget no, uh, for the purchase of this, uh, kwan, of these items, the sanitary mm -hmm. landfill or even the, the, kwan, the, the truck or the equipment, But uh, it's a non-issue pa at, at, at this point in time. Too early because the real battle actually starts when that, that communication for the contract enters the county. The only time that we can actually review mm, and then deliberate on the matter. Pero budget, yeah, okay lang na. wala na yung kaso. Oh, why kaso. We can even disregard the budget later on kung madisapprove ang kontrata. Oh, oh. I see you. So mga kabianan, we still have a few minutes of our time to discuss some other uh, controversial issues. We'll be back shortly.
Need automotive parts for your cars? Come to the right place. BW Parts Center has a complete line of automotive parts for your vehicles of various brands, type, and models. From Americans, Europeans, Japanese, Korean auto parts, you name it, we have it. We carry a wide range of replacement parts to choose from at a reasonable cost. BW Parts Center also specializes the restoration of your old Volkswagen cars. Don't hesitate to ask our well-trained and amiable parts attendants. They would be willing and happy to serve you. BW Parts Center is owned and operated by Giovanni So, your Volkswagen specialist. Located at Lacson Gonzaga Streets, Bacolod City. Telephone numbers 433-7904 and 433-6623. Feel and enjoy nature's best. Visit Joe Max Peak at Salvador Benedicto. For reservations, contact JP at cell number Welcome back to our program, Transparency. Antes kita mag-asilo sa ibang uh, topiko, we still have a few minutes of our time na yung parte sa binaklanay, no? mga procurement bla, sa gobyerno. Silang isang ibang daw, hindi transparent bla, no? Ang ibang ko, no? Ang bot may mga komisyon, wala, nantakbalo kay taka mga malisyuso man isang ibang nga tao, no? Uh, anong mambal mo si ni attorney? May mga observation ka nga kung sa procurement, kanil sa gobyerno, daw hindi transparent? Well, ti, ang ginambal ko nga transparent that within the bounds of the procurement law. Hmm. May harap man da guru standards, although I have not read that. Ti, uh, I presume nga ang local government unit, when it conducts mga baklanay, hmm. they comply with that. And we have the COA, the Commission on Audit, hmm. to ensure also that the LGUs are compliant. Uh-huh. Tiga lang, ti, ang, ang point ko lang ya, kita bala yung ordinary people hmm. uh, who do not even mind looking into the records. Tita ni, kung mas kabalo kita sa issues around us, especially in the disbursement of public funds, na may mantani kung well-informed. And we have the media to do that for us. Hmm. Ti, probably, guru, may mga may ways man sila of getting records from the LGUs, di, kundi ay uragwag nila eh. Pareman diri sa imo nga programa kung if we could get hold of those records uh-huh. and so that the people would know. Hindi man ta pwede nga mapawala lang kita. Hmm. No, di, we should know ang palangga at ang nasyon. We should get involved. Kaya hindi man pwede nga ibilin ta lang ni sa mga aton public officials dira. Kikisadra man gasulod ang abuse mo. Hmm. Kung wala taga pakialam, wala talabot. Mm. No? Vigilant. Kino, oh, kino vigilant. vigilant man ta kaysa iba na countries. Ganyan yung presidente ito. Pangpreso man nila. Mm-hmm. No, ito ang pangpreso man, pero ginapardon lang. <laughs> na hospital arrest lang. Na hospital arrest lang. <laughs> no? Oh. Tiyan mo nang isa, why bala fear ang ito government officials? Mm. Tiyan, that's uh, abuse na nga uh, sulod ko kaysa. Ah. So, kita vigilant man kita eh. Oh. So, kung uh, transparent ina, eh, tiyan probably transparent sa amul na nga standard. Mm. Pero what I meant, up to the pinakadalom kid bala sa mga radyo na gid ya. Oh. Iwa warag wago na no ang anong mayo eh kung bayo ni baklo ni plano kun hindi. Pero may commission, commission on audit. <laughs> Daw bisan na arang commission on audit to oh, bati ko may mga kamalamalahan gyapon nga padayon sa aton nga government no. Ate mo na may mga pidaf ganing nga issues no. <laughs> <laughs> Pero antes kita mag 
tandong parte sa PDAP scam, no? Uh, batik ko dire sa aton sa probinsya sa Negros Occidental kadugay sa mga kaso madesidian against sa mga government officials ta, no? Especially sa ombudsman, ha? Ang mga kaso daw ginapungkuan, ginahungod bla nga nagawander ka nga ang nanong tong kaso ni Suanso to nagakatulog ha pati so sabi sa baka ang ginbakal ha sa mga ranchuhan ang ginbakal nga may mga kaso nga until now ay gapon no para nga ma-exonerate ang aton nga government officials allegedly involved matinloan ang ilang alan bla ang alan sang ilang pamilya ti gahangin lang subong na ang integrity, ang good name and integrity sa atun ng mga government officials. So, kinanglatan eh, ang atong justisya bla, dasig-dasigun man diyo tayo. <laughs> subong bago, Sir Mike, no? Oh. I don't know if the people has already read this. Actually, gin post na sa newspaper no kahapon to or the other day. No. Galing na glance ko lang to. Pero... In essence, nag may bago subong uh, Supreme Court nga ruling nga circular mm. uh, mandating the courts starting September mm. this year of 2017 marathon hearing ng Gidya. Mm -hmm. Bali Monday to Thursday uh, mas start hearing 8:30 to 12. Mm. May hapon na nga session. Wow, perfect. Oh, uh, 2 o'clock masugod hasta alas 4 bla sa hapon. So, this will be a hectic schedule sa atong mga lawyers. Ati uh, matabo eh kay ang Friday mahulog na lang na siya arrangement sa mga kaso pagbasa sa kaso sa criminal cases arrangement, mm. mga promulgation, uh, motion, so ang trial ya Monday to Thursday kay kisa subong ya ang promulgation kisa ang mga arrangement ginabutang Monday to Thursday. So, mong Monday to Thursday, trial lang kitya aga hapon, Friday, muna na motions, uh, ang arrangements, promulgation. So, ang matabo, decision making. Isang judge, Sabado na lang kag Domingo. <laughs> why na po, why? Kasi suling hapon, ni decision making na so, judges. Supreme Court na nga kuan. Oh, na Supreme circular. Court na. So ang mga pala madjong na, hindi nakamadjong sa hapon <laughs> kiti. Ma ano na mo? Mahiring na. Oh. Kapoy sa judge, kapoy sa fiscal, kapoy, kapoy sa, sa PAO, pa public attorney's office, kag sa mga practicing lawyers. Oh. Amo na ni guru pag slim na mon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sa ilo kita business ning PDAP scam. Sila ni Senator Chis Escudero. May iwat man kuno sila sa Senate hearing, no? I-resume naman nila liwat ang PDAF scam. Kaya si uh, Janet Lim Napoles daw ginhilway na sa sining uh, kaso bla, pati sa illegal detention. So daw himuot ni siya ng uh, state, uh, state witness. witness. Basit may mga senador na nga huwag pa malakip sa tatlo gin priso ng mga senador. Ha? <laughs> Daw, amo na ang ginapaabot mo. Daw, very interesting ng uh, mag state witness si uh, uh, Janet Lim Napoles. Ti ugalain kay ang decision sa local court. Daw, I don't know, uh, lain man ang interpretation sa local court, mga regional trial court, kag sa uh, Court of Appeals. Lain na ang cream of judges nato niya sa Court of Appeals, pwede tingi niya kaalam. Uh, ti justices man ang ilang level Oh. Practically, ang level nila pareho naman na sa Supreme Court. Galing kaya muna bala nga part na sa atong judicial system kung may desisyon diri sa RTC, Regional Trial Courts, for example, sa kay Miss Janet Napoles, ti pwede man siya yaka-apilar kay daw na may ver verdict nga guilty siya. Hmm. So nag-apilar sa ordinary appeal guro sa Court of Appeals. Kiti, upon review, na kitaan guru sa Court of Appeals nga may doubt as may to... May cloud of doubt. Oo, due time lang na nga doubt mo. Once mm -hmm. ma-raise mo na, te, amo to... Beyond gin, reasonable oh, doubt. Okay, yeah. the, the, the guilt of the accused must be proved beyond. Buti lang yung why get duda. Why get duda. Nga may sala. Te, nagduda. <laughs> te, amo na iba nagduda man. Basi, nga na-acquit. Nga na-acquit, o. Hindi, aturalan na yan. This is a free Pero country. Pero namang mag-aduda sa Court of Appeals, no? May doubt no? gani, ang muna. <laughs> may doubt nga muna. Uh, hopefully, no? Uh, masanagan ang mga pumuloyo kung ang PDAF scam ni revive 
Di ba, antagin ko ang sino pagin ang malupot sa kasil eh. Oh. The, the original, out of the 24 senators elect, actually, ang implicated dad to, ano, yung nagagawa na si Gulan, is 21. Ah, to? 21 no. senators. Oh, di. So, gusto nila implicate ang mga majority, isang una, ng mga, ng mga senador, mm. nga who were not implicated. Oh. So, Chuck Toy na, nga, he will, she will eventually become a state witness because ang ginaya, ginakuan subong nila, ang ginatinguan sa mga abogado nila subong ni Napoles, nga manging kuan siya, ang iyabla nga guilt siya of kuan siya, he lesser guilt. Oh, I see. Te, unfair man naman to sa iban, pangawa sila to ang iban na yan, ang uh, tatlo lang yan, ang uh, one yan mo. Si, one na, hindi na komisyon mo, kundi ghost one, project na ganyan mo. Project Wala na ganyan, 100% yan. Kabig na ganyan. Kabig na ganyan. Hindi man, pro 60% kuno, kato sa sinadong, 40% yes, ko lang Yes, but in other words, wala ganyan project. Wala ganyan. That is the... Kawat ganyan. That na nabolis kam. Kawat ganyan, 100%. Ang una yan, may 10%. Oh. May 20%. Kalang, uh, some reach to as high as 60%. Pro this time, yan, 100%. <laughs> Ghost project, wala. Bisa na rin ulaw, ay ka may makita. Hindi <laughs> na, may napasuhon ng ilang da kung sinong involved. Hindi man na pwede nga tatlo lang yan. Oh. Gagwanta na ito, pila katuwig oh. yan. Ti, o, oh, ti malipay man silang katatlo, eh, madamo na ito sila sa sulod. <laughs> Dito oh, sila sa sadya na sa And this should be, uh, be a lesson to our future leaders, man. Eh, nga, they should yes. not take public service uh, for granted. Nga, pa-simple lang sila. Kakapriso, ganito ding ordinary clerk lang sa ginagmay ng oh. kaso. So, sila yan, by the millions, hundreds of millions. Mugane, oh. Uh, millions. O, oh, gaspirar pa mag-presidente, banda, galaway pa. Galaway pa. O, oh, ti, lang tawanan lang. Hahaha. <laughs> Mga kabiyanang, huwag na kita sa panahon uh, sa Sinig Matineon, pangabayon nato ng atong ato, dinapit ng mga bisita sa ila Sinig uh, Parting Shots. Uh, una, ang tabi si Attorney Paul Choco, Paul, ang atong uh, parting message. Well, it's about may init naman ang isyo sa PIDAF. So, it's a reminder to all of us na hindi lang kita yung Pilipino should not rely only on our government. We should also give our part. Hindi man pwede nga gobyerno lang or ginuo lang or simbahan lang. Hmm. No? Maatag kita sa aton man. Bisang ginagmay lang, pagtabok na lang sa dalan, tabok ka sa <coughs> pedestrian lane, no? Hmm. Kung stop-stop ang basura mo, segregate mo, ang muna ba lang simple contribution sa aton nasyon. If we do that collectively, then we will become a great nation. Mayong gabi, may madamo ginasalaman. Wow, well, katahom sa ngayon mong uh, pagpangabay sa aton pumuloyo, no? Let's do our share in nation building, no? Jun? Sir Mike, kwanto lang. I-reiterate ko lang kagina nga ang imong nga ginhamba kagina ato ni Jun. Nga we need to be vigilant. Vigilant nga kita mismo ang mga ultimo nga mga pumuluyo. Dapat magabantay, get and voice out. Kung may makita sila nga ng mga misconducts committed oh. by no less than our elected public officials. Now, kagdulaon na nato ni sa aton ng mga public officials, balo ka, including myself, iniblang kultura o sa ginatawag nila impunity. Oh. Nga we are beyond the law. We oh. are not, uh, hindi kita mamalambot. Oh. Yes, so that's why kung naging kultura na ini siya. But with this current administration, now may nakita ako nga there will be big changes. The culture of impunity, and we are beyond the reach of beyond the reach of law, and of course the culture of non-accountability. None. No. Sagad ka muda kas advance, tapos di ba niyo pabiyaran? Hula to niyo ng matapos na niyo term. Why? Ang aton ng words of wisdom for tonight on transparency: success is not the key to happiness. Happiness is the key to success. If you love what you are doing, you will be successful. Ang inyo kubos nga lagad, Mike Maghari, nagasiling. Thank you so much. God bless everyone. You have just viewed transparency right here on Sky Cable Bacolod. Be with us again every Monday, 10 p.m. Channel 14. Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, 8 p.m., Channel 32, and Sunday, 12 noon, Channel 40. For comments, suggestions, and ad placements, please contact Mike Maghari at cell number 0919-260-6943. Keep informed. Keep it here on 
Transparency, Sky Cable Bacolod. Thank you for watching. Happy viewing everyone.